The Siberian Husky is a beautiful dog breed with a thick coat that comes in a multitude of colors and markings. There are top 10 interesting facts about Siberian Husky. 1. Origin the Siberian Husky can be traced all the way back to the Chukchi people, an ancient tribe of people from northern Siberia. Despite the extremely adverse conditions, the Chukchi people bred the Siberian Husky to endure, and even thrive, in their frigid home. The dogs were built for stamina, and they were as much partners as pets when it came to survival in the north of Russia. 2. Eye Color Brown and an icy blue are the typical colors of a Siberian Husky, but sometimes you get one of each. This is sometimes known as party eye and is quite normal and acceptable for the breed. Check out the eyes on the Husky picture here. Even more amazing is they are all born with blue eyes but can change color after a few weeks. See our information on Siberian Husky eye color. 3. Appearance the handsome husky is a medium-sized dog with a light, compact frame. His body is well-proportioned and muscular. His head may have an interesting black and white or red and white pattern. His triangle-shaped ears open forward, and the almond-shaped eyes act to his alert, astute expression. The Siberian husky holds his head high and his straight back ends in a bushy tail. His coat is quite thick but the fur sits close to his body and comes in a wide range of colors. Male huskies average 21 to 23.5 inches in height and 45 to 60 pounds. Females are a bit smaller at 20 to 22 inches and 35 to 50 pounds. 4. Snow Nose If you've ever gotten up close and personal with a Siberian husky, you may have noticed that some of them have a multicolored nose. Often the nose is pink olive colored, and black. This is called a snow nose, and it's fairly common in the breed. Not only that, but it's not uncommon for a snow nose to appear during the colder months, and then to vanish again when the mercury rises. 5. They are fast. Huskies were bred to pull sleds and hunt, and need a lot of exercise to fulfill this need in domestic environments. Unleashed they can run 30 miles per hour which is why lead training is so important, and having them off leash is sometimes frowned upon, or at least risky. Huskies have been bred to run for long periods of time across the wilderness. You might have trouble keeping up. 6. Climate. Originating from Siberia the husky can survive in extreme cold down to minus 70 F. They can also live quite happily in warmer environments, subtropical and even tropical where their coat insulates them from the heat. However you do need to be aware that they need more water and may not do so well with extended, vigorous exercise sessions. 7. Training. Huskies are extremely intelligent. However, this dog isn't as eager to please her humans as other breeds, which makes her more challenging to train. Huskies do best with experienced, knowledgeable owners who ensure they are continually socialized and trained throughout their lives. Some husky owners have discovered their dogs to be street angels and house devils, meaning they do well in formal obedience classes, but tend to ignore their training at home. 8. Friendly Breed Huskies are not one-person dogs. They're unsuspicious and friendly to strangers. This can be charming but it's not very helpful when you're looking for a canine sentry. Of course, their fierce wolf-like features might be enough to deter any intruders. 9. Coat. Huskies completely shed their undercoats twice a year. The shedding period usually lasts three weeks but can go on much longer. Do expect to do a lot of grooming and vacuuming during this period. The good news, though is that you only have to put up with it twice a year. No further maintenance is really needed outside this period other than an occasional brushing, bailing and removing dead fur. 10. Health Problems Like all breeds, this one is prone to certain health conditions. Huskies tend to develop hip dysplasia, ectopy, an abnormality of the urethra, eye disorders, cataracts, corneal dystrophy, and progressive retinal atrophy and a skin condition known as zinc responsive dermatosis thanks for watching make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel